Hi, I'm Walter Beasley for Walter Beasley Lessons or WalterBeasleyLessons.com. Before it begins to storm, um, just wanted to um, reach out to some of the younger musicians that I've been in the game a long time. And what's concerning me is that a lot of us are not making money at what we do. And the solution for me is pretty simple um, in that I've been educated or been an educator for 30 years, music educator. And I've also been a, a, a pilot, uh, also been a performer for 30 years. Um, in my opinion, what's happening is a lot of musicians are going for the acrobatics, the gymnastics, posting stuff on YouTube and Facebook uh, and Instagram, uh, Snapchat, getting people quite interested. Hey, what's happening? Getting people quite interested in their performance uh, without having the ability to finish strong. By that I mean... If you're playing, if you're doing some things and you don't really know how to move an audience um, and finish your phrases or finish the song the way it's supposed to be finished, then you're not going to make money in the profession whatsoever. Um, the reason why I'm able to do it and others are able to do it is because we studied finishers. We studied Grover Washington Jr. We studied David Sanborn. We studied Ronnie Laws. We studied Cannibal Adderley. We studied Charlie Parker. We studied John Coltrane. We studied the finishers, the people who could actually finish well, finish strong. What's up, Las Vegas? So what we want to do, what you, if I were you, what I'd consider, if your playing is not moving you, really study the old school. Study it hard, study it long. Study, you know, give you an example. When Seattle was in the Super Bowl a couple of years ago against New England, um, what happened? They got down to the five-yard line, and somebody called a stupid play, and they didn't score, and they lost the Super Bowl. Somebody called a dumbass play, because they didn't know really how to finish. It's the same thing with music. If you don't know, if you don't know what that feels like, if you don't know what it feels like to finish a phrase, it feels like to finish a song, um, it's because you haven't studied properly. That's the only reason why. And, and you're not prepared for the next level. Um, and, and I say this in love because I want the music to be better. I want you to be better and I want to see you out there making money. But as long as you continue jumping up and down on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, look what I can do, look what I can do, knowing you're broke, knowing you don't have any money in your account, knowing you're not making any money, and wondering why that is, that's the reason. You haven't taken the time out to study the finishers, to study Grover, to study Ronnie, to study Kirk Whalen, to study all of David, I just go all the way back, all the way back, Johnny Hodges, uh, Lester Young. These people... Yes, that's yeah, exactly, Wanda. That's exactly what this is. This is a life lesson in a sense. You have to be able to 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 speak. You have to be able to use your personality to speak through the music, and that's taught to us by those who come before us. Now, you can do everything you you can think you're going to change the game by doing whatever you're going to do. Um, just changing hands, do whatever you're going to do. But the fact of the matter is, history teaches us that there's a process to everything, and if you don't recognize the process. You're not going to make much money, and you're not going to have a long career. So what I'd like you to do, younger students, is think about the long term. And if you know that you're not prepared to do what's necessary to finish a phrase strong, then study. Just study. There's nothing wrong with studying. There's nothing wrong with humbling, humbling yourself to the music, humbling yourself so that, so that you can be better in the long term. You understand? Yeah, this is the professor of me talking because I, the music music is kind of suffering right now it's because people want to be stars and they don't want to be saxophone players or trumpeters or whatever even older people this is this is not just restricted to the young there's a lot of people out there who are really not playing well they're just playing for the applause and that's okay to a certain extent but to make money long term or to, to to make sure that you can be to have an established career for a long period of time you have to be well-rounded and that story is told to us by the people who came before us you can't get around that process. So enjoy the Instagram, enjoy the Facebook, enjoy you know doing, look what I could do, all that kind of stuff is great. It's great. But if you can't send them to a place where they can find out how you tell your own story through the story of other people, then you're doing yourself a disservice. All right? That's all I got to say on that.